Hello friends, welcome to the first session of Cucumber. Now, before learning Cucumber, we need to understand just a little bit what actually Cucumber does. Okay, it is a tool which is based on behavior driven development that is BDD. You must be knowing a BDD, if not, then uh, let me tell you. BDD, uh, you must have uh, definitely heard about test driven development. Okay, that is normally known as TDD. Now, what in test driven development we do when we are sitting with a client, okay, during the requirement phase, the developers they nor and the test uh, the product owners they normally write the test cases as per the requirement of the client we write the test cases okay now though during the development phase developer read those test cases and develop the code okay first of all they run the code the test case will fail so they came to understand okay we need to implement that functionality and they implement the code and then they use retest rerun those tests and they uh, build your software okay and the uh, test execution is done now this is the test driven approach that is test case are driving your development okay now behavior driven development this is it is uh, merged from test driven development only okay it has taken the ideas of test driven development now what uh, uh, when we say that when uh, in test driven when the testers and developers are sitting with the client the test cases they normally write is as per the technicality okay those test cases have technicality suppose if i am a bank i um, um, have to develop an application related to a bank then i will be developing a test case life if the account balance uh, is greater than 1000 then only I can transfer a money okay there can be another check that if an account is added then only you can transfer that person okay so there can be n number of cases so if we follow test driven approach there comes cases that during development you find a lot of bugs some functionality is missed out okay also if those test cases are read by some another guy okay maybe a tester or a, a non-technical person right a manager or another person those persons cannot understand the test cases okay because they are written technically okay if uh, the client himself is reading there are situations he is not able to understand Okay, and the another issues comes with BDD. So to make it much better, the behavior driven development came into picture. Now, it just the test driven development, all the process similar to test driven, but in this, instead of writing the test case, we write the behavior of the product. Okay, as mentioned, in behavior driven development it is used to test the system rather than testing the particular piece of code okay in test driven what we normally do that this will be the functionality then how we need to test we write a test cases okay that is the test driven development but in case of behavior driven okay we write the behavior like the example of uh, transferring the fund if it was the behavior driven then it would be something a person can transfer the money to another account only if then the set of conditions if the account is greater than zero and the person is added in these type of situations so in case of behavior driven development it is normally the use cases okay how the product is behaving okay so more clearly we can say that behavior driven talks about the use cases the behavior of the product okay and as we know that in these days use cases if we are writing the test cases also the more preference okay is always given to use cases okay there is a good functionality but it is not a or very less percentage of users are using it maybe a 
thousand users in one out of thousand users clicking that so it's not usability is very low okay so more stress is given to use cases and this behavior driven development is following that instead of writing the test cases instead of writing a requirement document we are writing the behavior of the product okay now that behavior of the product is given to testers and to testers and to developers and they do their respective task it is so easily written that anyone can understand the functionality of the product using this behavior driven development okay now one more thing that here bdd focus on behavior aspect of the system rather than implementation aspect of the system that the td uh, the test driven development focuses as we have discussing test driven is more respective to the implementation and bdd is behavior okay that is the user's perspective now td uh, the test driven only gives developer understanding what the system would do okay on the another hand bdd gives the clear understanding to what the system should do from the perspective of the developer and the customer okay now normally if you have given a software how we write a test cases we go through the requirement doc and we say okay if uh, let's say uh, if this condition is true then this should be the case we are totally following the development okay but in case of behavior we are not following any development though we are following development but there is a very important factor behavior that if the system does this then system should do this okay actually it's one step above in the uh, if we say in a test driven client sits with the team and they make a uh, or in any normal case they made a document now out of those documents we are writing the test cases okay so there is a gap comes in between while in case of behavior driven development we are stating the behavior of the product so if i say that uh, my behavior is there is a one case that uh, if i say if uh, in the evening i am uh, if i am thirsty i will drink water okay and the next test case is in the evening uh, usually i am thirsty but in case of behavior if it's a behavior driven it will be the case that in the evening time i am normally thirsty and i drink water okay so in the behavior it's showing how i behave so writing the test case is very easy okay so now what is cucumber came into picture cucumber is a tool that is based on behavior driven development okay which is used to write acceptance test cases for web application now there are other tools available like fitness etc those are also very good tools but uh, cucumber has gained more success previously it was developed in ruby but now it has support for java also okay so in the next session we will be learn about what actually cucumber is okay so thank you hello friends welcome in this session we will be studying about what actually cucumber is so cucumber is a tool which implements the bdd in your project okay so when we are learning selenium or apm why cucumber is necessary if we talk about uh, we write scripts in selenium okay those are in technical programming language if i say java ruby python something now how this cucumber helps this cucumber says okay on top of this script you need to write in just plain english language you need to write test cases in plain english language okay so you can say cucumber is a method which implements bdd okay it says that the test cases you have been making 
now will be make as per BDD instructions. Okay, you will be getting more detail in a later section. So, uh, how BDD works? BDT has just a second. Yeah, Jerkin. It is a language that Cucumber understands. So, where we write test cases in Cucumber? Cucumber supports feature files. Okay. This. The feature file should be written in normal English language and easily understandable. So, when we are working with Cucumber, writing of feature file is the first task. So, these are very easy files and these are written in plain English language. Okay. Uh, we will be taking an example what actually feature files are and how we make them. And depending upon the feature file, we write the scenarios. Scenarios are written using keywords like given, and, then, when, and then. Okay. Now, this is the, uh, you can say, uh, let me give me a first an example. So, we'll understand better. Okay. Yes. Example. First, we will understand a feature file. Feature file can be a, a case. Okay. Suppose if employee misses his cab. <gasps> if an employee misses his cab and of his cab, then he is entitled to avail a public transport and reimbursement can be done by the company. So this is the feature. If employee misses cap then uh, he can make reimbursement Investment for the public transport. Now, by this uh, around this feature, we will develop scenarios. Scenarios, okay. And in the scenarios, what suppose the first scenario is Mrs. Office. Cap. This is the first scenario. Now, these scenarios are developed when we are in uh, conversation with the client. So, when we are developing in, in the previous uh, development phases, when we are talking with the client, we are developing the requirement documents. But now, when we are using Cucumber, we develop feature files and scenarios. Okay. So, when we are talking with the client, so we use some keywords here keywords which i've talked about given and when then like suppose now given what is i am 30 minute late when i am 30 minute late and missed my office cab okay and my car is at service. Okay. When I take a taxi to office. Okay. Uh, then I get half reimbursement. Okay, so this is the scenario that if I am 30 minutes late and misses my office cab and my cab is at service, when I take a taxi to office, then I get half reimbursement. 
so we have developed the scenarios using the keywords given and when and then there is one more keyword you can use that is but okay so it is not mandatory that you need to all these keywords but depending upon the scenarios we use this scenario we use this keywords so you can make alternate scenarios using this for example i can make a scenario like this the another scenario mrs office cab if i am 50 minutes late and missed my office cab my car is at let's say gas station okay i take a bus to the office i get full reimbursement so you you find here the usability of using the cucumber you can just manipulate some words in your scenarios and a new scenario is developed so now we come with the definitions what actually the feature file are feature file some text yet descriptive text of what it is desired it can be a textual description of the business value of this feature business rule that govern the scope of the feature or any additional information that the feature is easier to understand or you can say the functionality if we talk about function you can not roughly say the functionality as the feature of your uh, uh, discussions in the requirement phase when you're sitting with the client and the client says okay my feature is that I want my payment gateway to be developed with Paytm okay or something so this become the features okay uh, the uh, feature can be I want uh, my I uh, as an account uh, owner I can transfer money to another account so this is my feature and the scenarios can be the first scenario I as a uh, account owner I can I'm now saying given I have the account in bank XXS and I have money in my account positive money in my account when I transfer money to my friend through IMPS then see I use give and when then the money should be transferred instantaneously so this is how you write the scenarios so what is the scenario in what in scenario you can write some determined business situations or you can say use cases but when we follow BDD it is the business scenarios okay in given some precondition like if you want to log in then you can say I open the browser and navigate to a website so in the given keyword we write some preconditions and some another preconditions and can be used as in simple language adding of two uh, sentences that right? given some precondition there can be two preconditions suppose I opened the uh, Firefox browser and version 41.1 okay I navigate to hdfc.com and I will log into my account so these are the preconditions when some action which is done by the user okay I enter the valid uh, given I enter the username and password uh, this is sorry given I log into gmail.com when I enter my valid username and password okay so it describes some action if you're talking about our banking uh, uh, user given 
I log in to my account when I make payment of thousand dollars to my friend it denotes some action similarly we can use and here to add some another actions when I enter my valid username and valid password so you can use multiple ands and then is some outcome if we say about a text case it is the expected result okay given I log in to my website uh, to the Gmail page when I enter my username and password then I should be logged in into my account okay so then keyword states that some testable outcome is achieved and something else we can check happens to okay so in similar manner we can write various scenarios also okay so this is was all about if you say about cucumber yes cucumber has a feature file in the feature file we, we write what the feature is and the scenarios okay scenarios describe any business logic okay scenarios are written with keywords given then when and and but okay you can you can only start a statement with these words okay and there is no hierarchy okay that you can use given once or you can not after that you can use and there is nothing you can use this and above then below as per the need as per your business logic okay uh, one more thing now we have a step file what is a step file a step file is which implements this feature file okay this feature file is just in plain english language okay so which in cucumber it is a jerkin which language I understand now how we will be running like this uh, program in real okay this is the uh, uh, in english language so it won't be executed so how this will be executed the code which is written is known as step file in the next session we will be executing a step file end to end scenario okay before starting that we need to uh, download need to download these jar files when we are working with cucumber it is recommended to use the pom that is the maven use so if you don't know about maven we will be teaching uh, uh, what maven actually is and how you can work with it okay for now you need to download all these jar files okay so go to your browser and you can just type uh, maven cucumber okay and this will be the first link so you will find this info cubes it is an official website for uh, cucumber so in this you will find all these jar files like cucumber core okay so cucumber core is this one so you can go here and you can download the this 1.2.4 and similarly you can download this jar file okay So similarly, you can download other jar files. You will find here. If you won't find, uh, if you won't find this jar file, for example, just jerk in this. If you won't find this, so simply what you do, simply write Maven and this jar name. So you will get a link here, and you can directly download from here. Download bundle. Okay. So make sure you download all these jar files. We will be needing in the next session when we are working with cucumber okay thank you hello friends in the previous sessions we have learned about what the bdd is that is behavior driven development and how the cucumber comes into the picture okay so from this session we will be studying the practical example of cucumber how bdd is implemented with selenium 
okay first of all we will be covering not with the selenium the general concepts of the cucumber and in the later sections videos we will be covering that how we can integrate with the selenium okay so also in the previous lecture i have asked you to download all the jar files uh, from the internet so make sure you download them first i have already downloaded it with me and they are present under this jar files these are all the jar files if you have not downloaded i will share all these jar files in the download section okay one thing more uh, maybe when you're using the jar versions uh, must have increased so you can download the latest one also and you can use them as well okay so let's start with our first java program so let me open the eclipse It's not opening. Yeah. It's taking time to load. Just a second, guys. what happened okay i will make a new workspace which will be related to cucumber in the workspace i will make a, a new workspace that is cucumber okay and i will select this and click on okay just setting up the new workspace i don't know why it's taking so much time it normally starts within seconds let me pause the video and let it to open let me see what the issue is yes so eclipse has opened now let us make a new project a new java project a new java project and i will name this as a cucumber project okay and i click on finish so under this find the source file let first make a new package which will be having my cucumber files a package and i will name it as my package okay and also let me increase the font size colors and fonts basic and text font edit okay i think 16 would do yes and now make a new feature file we have studied what the feature file actually is feature file is a feature which will be telling what we need to do what the behavior does the application exist okay so we will make a new feature file so make a new file and the file name let us make it as a shopping dot feature okay and click on finish so this is a new feature file now let's make one feature here so how we write we first give the annotation we can say as feature okay colon then the name of the feature 
now the scenario we will be studying here is that the item in our basket of an application i have an application which has my cart uh, feature like we have in the shopping uh, websites okay so the scenario which will be i am making is that if no item i launch my application and if i did not select any item okay i did not selected any item and i click on buy product so then in that case my cart should be empty because i have not added any item in the basket okay so you launch the website you click on the basket then it would be empty because until you add some item into the basket it would be an empty it's it's common scenario right so the feature would be check my basket application now we will be writing its corresponding scenarios now for a single feature they can be multiple scenarios so what a scenario is no item selected in basket so this is our scenario now its steps and now we have studied that in case of bdd the steps we write is in the properties like given then when then but etc okay so we will use given i start the application okay given i start the application then i should see a selection of products okay when i launch the application i should see a selection of products then then what action should i perform when i browse without buying product now this expected condition that is then my basket should be empty okay now you can use another uh, properties like and and but are missing because we don't need those in our case okay so you can also write and my basket should be empty and i cannot buy an item so there are two expected conditions now results we can say that when i browse through the products then my basket should be empty and i cannot buy an item that is perfectly right so this is how we prepare a feature file okay and save this so this is the feature file so similarly we can make another feature files as well okay there can be multiple feature files and each feature files can have many scenarios now in the next video we'll be seeing how to make a step file okay hello friends so in the previous video we have seen how to build the feature file okay so now we will be adding a test step for this feature file test step is actually the steps which will be working for this feature file okay so i go to my package click on new class file okay and i will name it as a shopping step okay and finish also we will be working and we will be executing our project with test ng we can use j unit as well okay uh using the j unit is easy also but uh, as mostly these days test ng is being used so i will be showing an example with the help of test ng so now this step file represents the step of the shopping feature 
so we will start with the first line of the scenario that is given that is we need to use given annotation okay and we will be now writing the function that is public void and usually we give the name of this given okay that is just a second when i write all the statement you will be able to know what i am doing okay and this this is my given function i will import create an oops sorry uh, under this also i will write start this application okay one more thing i need to import my jar files for the cucumber as well so i go to my project click on properties and java build path and under the libraries i will import all my cucumber files which i have downloaded so under the jar cucumber these are all the jar files core html java junit so i will import all of these and okay when you import this then you can import this given annotation from cucumber import it and you can see the file here cucumber.api java given this file is imported when we are using given annotation so in the feature file given represent that when this given comes it will come in the test file it will verify okay i start this application for this given i start the application this given should be used because there can be multiple given annotations okay so okay this given will be executed so whatever we write under this function will be executed for this given annotation so that's the why we give this function name similar to this name so we can easily understand it so if i write system out dot print ln okay and i here also write i start the application so suppose there would have been two given statements okay this must be some with another comment but when this given comes it will check i start the application so if these two given statement it will verify the parameters of both this given annotation so the one which it matches that function will be executed so in our case this function will be executed that is i start the application will be printed in the console okay so similarly as we have done for the given annotation we will be doing for the another annotation as well like for then i should see the selection of products copy this and i have to use at the rate then okay and the name i should see the selection of products and then i will write the implementation for this then state then annotation public void i should see a selection of products okay and in this i will be printing out the same statement so in this uh, for statements implementation you can do anything okay in our case i am just printing out this command suppose we have been using selenium then the selenium command would have been here so it depends upon the 
uh, application you are working on, the feature you want to test. Okay, so this is cucumber. What I'm teaching is just cucumber. How the cucumber works. Okay, so whatever you write, if you write APM driver or Selenium driver, QTB, whatever, it will be work according to it. So cucumber is the way how to write it. It's the BDD representation. Okay, so currently we are learning only the cucumber, not with Selenium or APM. Okay, so let's import this dead statement as well. The next, let's save this also. The next one is when. When I browse through buying products. Copy this. The rate when. And the function public void when I browse without buying products. Okay, and in this we will be printing the same thing. That is, I browse without buying products. We will import this when annotation. Okay. The next is then. Then my basket should be empty. Then. Public void my basket should be empty. Okay. And the next one, and I cannot buy an item. Okay. I cannot buy an item. We'll be using and. Public void cannot buy an item. And I will import this and annotation library as well okay so we have developed the step file for our cucumber okay the feature file that is we have developed the step file for this feature file so if you have let's say suppose 10 feature files then you need to build 10 step files as well okay so we have learned how to build the feature file and now how to build the step file in the next session we will be learning how to create the test runner okay now in previous case what we have seen how to run the java files click on run this as a test ng so it don't work here so you cannot run this file simply because you have to link this feature file with the step file okay because what you will be running would be a feature file and feature file in return will be calling this step file so you have to make a test runner for it and we'll be working on this test runner on test ng so let's look on this in the next section thank you hello friends so we have learned how to create the feature step file now we will be executing this with the help of test ng 
So first of all, we need to create a test ng.xml. So for this, go to other and an XML file. XML file, click on next. Name would be testng.xml and click on finish. And this is the source. So XML for the test ng we need to write the log type. Okay. So log type and suit. You don't need to write uh, I will be already you can download this test ng dot XML from the download section. Okay. So I'm considering here that you know the concepts of test ng file. Okay, what is actually a test ng is what is a test ng XML. Okay, so this is http test ng dot org and uh, test ng dot one dot zero dot dtd okay so this is our doc type now first of all we will start with suit okay and the suit name we will be giving let's say the suit name i will give it as a suit okay and let's say no parallel okay now under this i will give test name as sanity okay this is my suit name and this is my test name and in the test name i will give it as a sanity test okay now under this i will give packages okay and packages and my package name is what my current package name is okay that is package name i can include multiple packages to run so this is the package name i want to run all the files in this my package so that is my package name is my package so i've created a suit and i say this test which i'm running as sanity and to include this package to under execution okay and i will close this and also i will close the suit so this is my test ng xml now to execute this feature file we need to start a test runner okay so i will make a new file a new java class file and i will name it as shopping and it is running that test so i will name it as test runner okay so in this we need to call that is we will be running the cucumber class so here we will be using the test annotation run with okay and we will be giving as cucumber dot class so just understand that these are the pre steps if you want to run your cucumber stats we need to use two annotations okay so one is cucumber class uh, run with and the another one is cucumber okay this is the cucumber options these are options which will help you to start the cucumber okay so you can see here just go to chrome go to google if you go to cucumber options you will find a lot of options like dry run features which features like i said no, this cucumber options will tell you what to run like feature files which feature files you want to run 
okay the format the glue type the name the plugins if you are using the tags if you are using so this cucumber options help you to run your feature files okay so okay so let's say the first uh, uh, is monotype so always mark it as true uh, the yes and you can use features okay this feature will tell you which feature file you actually want to run okay and it is not monotype i think it's mono it's showing an error mono chrome it let me check uh, mono chrome yes okay the feature which feature you want to run you want to run this feature that is under source from the project we take the hierarchy that is it is under s r c okay and under my package okay that is under my package so where your feature file is located under this location in inverted commas okay so we have set the feature file which will be using this cucumber now the plugin okay the plugin which will be using that is uh, cucumber html reports the plugin will be using so we will give it as this needs to be defined one time so just go with me html you need and which reports you need i want the reports in html format okay so here you can see the plugin section okay specify the pattern of features or the sorry not this yeah what plugin to use so we are using the pretty plugin and which will be generate the html reports okay and the where to generate okay the location html and in the target that is cucumber this is the location okay that we are using the pretty plugin and this is the html format in the html format we want the reports and this is the location that we wanted under target and in target then under cucumber and let's say html reports because we are generating the html reports okay so plugin this specify the reports so this is one this is let it to be okay and next so we have defined two annotations that we are running the cucumber test cases and the options that this cucumber where the feature files are located what how the reporting we want to do now if we want to we also need to import these annotations okay so it's not giving so let me import it myself these are the j unit annotations first we have started with j unit and then we'll be telling it that we'll be running at a test ng test okay so let me write import it's org dot j unit okay dot runner dot run with okay so it will give you the option to import mm. let me see if j unit i have with me mm. no i have test in g mm. Yes, so I was not having the J unit uh, jar file, so I have downloaded it from this. You type Maven J unit, and you will go to this 4.11. You can download 4.12, and I have saved this jar file in J unit. This J unit jar file, so you will be getting in the download section as well. Okay, so uh, now it is not showing an error. Now, so. 
this is the, this should come before this okay yes so we need to import these as well so why it's not showing the options okay anyhow let us import manually import uh, cucumber dot api JUnit okay yeah and the another one is cucumber options it is present under the cucumber api only so i will use this api and cucumber options and under this i will be using cucumber okay now now the error it is giving is feature okay it is features okay so this is how so this is how you can execute with test ng or oh, uh, j unit now we want to execute with test ng so here we are saying this shopper test runner it extends abstract test ng okay it abstract test ng cucumber test that is this one okay so now you are all set to execute your cucumber test with test ng so if i go through a revision one more time that we were having this feature file and for this feature file we have declared the step file for this feature file now we want to execute with the help of test ng so we need to create one test runner because these cannot be executed simply because we need to correlate this feature file with this step file okay so here we'll be seeing that test will be started for cucumber class and the properties like features plugin monotype that where the feature file is where the report file should be generated and the test ng that these tests would be executed with test ng okay also we have made this test ng xml file what this test ng xml file it makes the suit and the sanity name and it's saying where your all classes and packages located that is my feature file my test runner file and my step file are located under this package okay so now if i execute it run this as a test ng test then my cucumber test would be executed allow access fail to create directory most cucumber target cucumber report mm -hmm. just a second uh, report oh i made this column the directory cannot have the folder name cannot end with this colon okay so let us again run this as a test ng test yes so it has one successful run and you can see here it is printed this is your feature file which is shown and this is your step file in the step file i am printing the same given i start the application and it is also relating that where your feature file was and when it is connected this is saying that shopping dot features okay shopping step i start this application you can see here i start this application it is saying that this is executed for this test step so similarly all five test steps have been executed it's saying one scenario passed so in overall what i had i had only one scenario for this feature and this has five steps this was having five steps 1 2 3 4 5 that's right so it is passed feature this is passed and run cucumber feature 
so we have successfully executed one cucumber test okay so in the next session we will be checking how we can run with multiple scenarios thank you hello friends so in the previous section we have seen how to run a step file in test ng okay so now we are writing a step uh, file we use regular expressions okay so whenever we are using any annotations cucumber annotations we use the symbol caret and the sorry it was removed the caret symbol it's okay caret symbol in the starting of every annotation okay what it states this annotation states the starting of the sentence okay so, and similarly we will be using the dollar sign which represents the end of statement but you will say that it was executing before also then why we are using this there may be situations when we'll be using regular expressions so when we need to tell the starting and end of a sentence so so in a, if a situation is normal like this it would work perfectly fine okay now let's make an another scenario this was a scenario but for a, each feature there can be multiple scenarios like in this scenario it was that i start the application i could, should see a selection of products when i browse without buying product then my product should be empty and i cannot buy an item but for this there can be an another scenario okay no item selected in basket given i start the application okay the scenario would remain the same given i start the application then i should see an application of products when i browse products without buying product in this without instead of without uh, when i browse with buying products then my basket should not should not be empty okay and i can buy an item okay so we have make changes to one second and three these three cucumber statements okay on the another hand these two given and then would remain the same we save this feature file so for this scenario as well we need to develop the step file okay so as we say that for all these two the step file was all already there so we need to build the step file for these three okay so let's start when i browse with buying of products okay so i make when okay the starting okay. starting i will later on starting and end okay public wide i browse through this and i will print i browse through items with buying of products So this was the when statement then my product should not be empty copy this and make an then okay then my basket should not be empty and the function that is the implementation related to that test step
my basket should not be empty okay and now the third step that is and i can buy an item so copy this can buy an item and make a step for it that is will be use an and annotation buy item okay so now we have covered both the scenarios okay so now let's execute this uh, with the test ng test and both the scenarios should be executed okay it's saying one test run two scenarios and both of them are passed and total we have 10 steps five for the first scenario and five for the another scenario and similarly you can see the test step for both of these okay this was when i browse to the item then my basket should not be empty and i can buy an item okay so you have seen that we have reused reuse these both statements given i start the application then i should see a selection of products so this is how the cucumber implements the reusability okay now there is one more smart way okay using the regular expressions that why we should write these all three statements when they are almost similar okay when we say when i browse without buying of product when i browse with buying of product these are almost similar so instead of making two test step we will work with one test step this is how we'll be doing okay so what will we do we will comment all these three test step okay and we will be using the steps which were we made earlier to work for these scenario as well how yes let me show you how we can achieve this okay just a second i start the application we will be using regular expressions so i browse without buying any product so here we were instead of without we were using i browse without buying of product when i browse with buying of product so there is a word with or without so we will be using regular expression instead of this okay so how we'll be using this is that we will delete this and we will be using regular expressions that there can be any character from small letters a to z as well as capital letters from a to z okay and it is mandatory to have at least one word okay similarly for the then my basket should be empty my basket should be empty and my basket should not be empty so instead of should we will be using the regular expressions that it can be between a to z or a to z capital z okay and it can be of one letter and i can buy an, an item i cannot so this is i can or cannot so instead of this we will be using regular okay 
so this is how we use regular expressions okay so save this so now see using these steps only we have automated this scenario as well okay so if there are 10 scenarios if we are developing those scenarios which must be almost similar okay so we can use those steps as well so we have already seen how these both of like both of them are executed okay both the scenarios now let's say now yes now with regular expression now let's start to execute and see if they run the same way or not run this as test ng test okay one test passed yes two scenarios passed and total there were 10 steps okay so these were the two scenarios given i start the application i should see th this and this so yeah it's the same case when we were using two applications so we have used the regular expressions and two scenarios are being used so in the real example uh, when we are developing the automation suit we could have used more scenarios and similarly we can automate the same way okay now let's consider one example let's say if uh, i change this start or i remove this start i start the application and i save this so this given this given scenario won't be matched with this step okay an error would be thrown okay so let execute our project run this as test ng test okay so it has executed and now it would give an error it's saying eight skipped and two undefined okay eight skipped because the steps after this won't were not executed you see given i start the application for this it not it is not able to find any test step similarly for the other one for given i start the application it is not able to find the test step okay so let me put back start okay so this is how you can execute the multiple scenarios with using or reusing your test steps okay hello friends so in the previous session we have learned that how we can use regular expressions and we can reduce our test steps okay now one thing that uh, we, we have seen that like this was the statement for the when annotation i browse buying products it was for uh, when i browse without buying products i browse with buying products okay this one so for this the activity which i want to, to perform is different okay so let's say if i say i browse with buying of products then the print should be i browse with buying products and when i use without here it should be printed without okay so in real scenario it should be like this because suppose if you are using selenium or apm or any tool suppose for one case you want to print something or you want to let's say if uh, you are opening a fire uh, flipkart application then you go you should open on firefox okay and uh, if uh, you are working with the snap deal then you should work on open chrome so you can use if and else statement depending upon the scenario okay so because if we are not able to to distinguish here then we need to write two test steps okay so cucumber provide a method how you can achieve this simply you can write here string and buying activity okay 
in the parameter of this function you can write uh, any string okay buying activity you can copy this and instead of this without you can write here that buying activity okay so similarly we can do for others my basket be empty so what it was my basket should be empty string uh, action okay, I copy this and instead of should and similarly for the, this one I cannot buy an item string just some data let's say I okay and now let me execute a test ng project that mm, has one failure okay let me see then my basket okay okay uh, i just forgot one more thing that uh, when you are using this if you want this any word you want to be part of this parameter you need to include this parenthesis small parenthesis okay so if i want this to be part of this parameter then i need to use these small parenthesis okay so if i use parenthesis here then this will be this will go this basket will go under the sections so we have to make sure this parenthesis come okay and the parenthesis here as well now save this and try to execute now okay this time it was successful you see here it's giving then uh, this when I browse without okay and in the second scenario it gives when I browse with similarly for the first scenario it gives then my basket should be empty and for second scenario then my basket should not be empty similarly I can buy an item and I can buy an item this is the same sorry and I cannot buy an item this was okay so we have seen that how we can include this also when we are writing the scenarios we also need to know that which parameter is parameterized okay that which step we are reusing that test step because like this word here then I should uh, this one when I browse without buying a product when I browse with buying of product so there should be some marks so I came to know that this will be the common test step so what I will do I will include parenthesis here and it will give me a notification that in the test step this word you can use another word also when you are writing a scenario suppose if I'm writing a third scenario then I know that this word I can use a different word instead of this word and I can reuse the step test step which was written for it okay so it is for the uh, view purpose when I'm writing the test cases similarly when my <coughs> sorry 
should I cannot I can okay and save this now we need to adapt a step file as well so this option was marked under parenthesis okay now if you know java we cannot include parenthesis inside parenthesis for that we need to use a space sequence that is a forward slash now it will be considering this as a parenthesis okay so similarly here okay and save this and execute and you see it run perfectly fine so we know that these was pad, uh, parameterized okay thank you so friends in the previous session we have learned that how we can make multiple feature files and how they are executed now we are having a multiple feature files okay and uh, maybe you're working in a project and you have multiple feature files that it's not always a scenario that you always need to execute all those feature files there are smoke suits they are regression suits they are uh, sprint suits they are suits depending upon the functionality some financial suits some login test cases etc okay so in that cases if i have 100 test cases and i want let's say suppose to execute 10 test cases that is these are my smoke test cases then how to work with those okay so for that we have a tagging feature okay i will tell you in detail what it is suppose uh, we know that i have uh, just a second guys let me increase the res yeah now this uh, it's uh, viewable the text is viewable so let's say i have these two feature files and now i want to execute only uh, the test cases which are in login feature okay so we have a concept called tagging so i can tag this feature files that is i can write that this is a part of smoke test and i save this and we know that this is the runner which execute our feature files so we have a cucumber options here known as tags okay and i can mention all the tags or which are having those features okay suppose i have this tag mentioned now smoke and i want all the features files to be executed which are having smoke as their tag name okay so we can work like this save this and if i now execute only one feature file will be executed that is login okay feature file uh just a second there is some issue error parsing with shopping i have not done anything with the shopping then why it's ah sorry guys actually i was making some changes before so i mistakenly this feature file was removed okay yeah it was removed 
feature mm, adding items to basket okay so let's execute now run this as test ng test okay let's see now it has given me one scenario executed okay while on the another hand it should have executed one scenario and in the shopping we have two scenarios but in our case it has only executed one scenario that is for the login one login into the application that is this one because we have mentioned that only to execute features file which are present in this package which start with smoke as their tag okay suppose in this feature mm, in the shopping feature file i mentioned tag as smoke as well as i want it to be part of a sanity okay so if i continue keep the tag at smoke then both of these scenarios as well as this scenario these all three are having the tag as smoke so three scenarios should be executed let's see run as test ng test yeah three scenario executed see here yeah so it's perfectly fine let me show you test ng it was giving some issue feature this was the feature let me execute it again test ng should also give the correct one but mm. no guys uh some issue maybe with the test ng it, it was working before it will work no issues in that it will work okay so now let's say if i want to execute only those test cases which are in sanity so if i mention sanity here then only two test cases two feature that is one feature file which is having two scenarios will be executed okay it is giving me only the features it is not giving the scenarios okay so that's the reason it is only giving one okay so yes so two scenarios have been executed so that's fine so this is how you can use the tagging concept of cucumber and you can characterize your test cases as per your needs okay in the next session we'll be learning how to parameterize our scenarios okay and it's a very good and important feature of cucumber thank you hello so now let's see that how uh, how we can make a different feature file okay uh, so let me copy this file and name it as login dot feature file okay now we'll delete one i'll keep only one scenario given then when okay yes so give a feature is login into account okay so scenario is valid username and password so given i launch the application then i enter username and password 
then I enter correct username and password and we can use and anywhere okay if we had additional statement and clicked on login button then I am login into application okay and no need of end here so this is our feature file save this now let make a step file corresponding to it okay so we'll be using this and let me name it as login step okay and okay we'll delete all this okay this is the login step first is given i launch the application when i launch the application i launch the application and in this also we will be printing some comments the next one is then then i enter correct username and password enter correct username and password okay then again copy paste and clicked on login button and clicked on login button okay the last annotation cucumber annotation that is then i am login into application okay now let's correct our cucumber file as well on login button and similarly here as well okay i need to modify test ng runner no because what I'm saying is that inside this package, my package, run all the feature files. So this will also this feature file will also be executed. Login dot feature file. And my test ng dot xml. Yes, here as well I'm using the package, not the class file. So let me run and it should execute fine. Test ng test okay okay login into account and check my 
basket both executed correct let me check the console as well okay login into account sorry uh, yes login into account ran perfectly fine the one scenario then the basket application first scenario and the basket application another scenario so total three scenarios executed okay three scenarios three passed 14 test steps and all 14 passed so this is how you can add multiple feature files and their test steps okay thank you hello friends so in this session we'll be learning how we can include examples in our feature outline file okay so for studying it let me make a copy of this cucumber project so, because i don't want to make any changes uh, because as i will be sharing this to you and i will be making it advanced cucumber project okay and i will be closing this old one okay so let me open this shopping feature file now we have here two scenarios uh, and what actually we have done not selected item is boxes uh, see an application yeah in both of these scenarios we are actually using same test steps okay you can see we have made only five test steps one two three four five okay because we have parameterized here okay so there is also one another way how you can do parameterization okay so what we write uh, we write examples okay example is suppose there is one scenario this one okay and i want to execute it two times three times four times with multiple set of keywords that is parameters then one way is to create the scenarios like this or we can parameterize this with the help of examples example means that you want to run various examples okay so for that you can write examples okay and you can give name suppose i want these three parameters so you can name this okay also one important thing guys that here we are parameterizing uh, and uh, doing that without should cannot normally the when we talk about bdd and cucumber these things are not parameterized mainly okay this is for the teaching purpose so that how to teach it can easily i can I have used this mainly the parameters are like products okay basket etc okay anyhow it doesn't matter okay uh, our main motive is you can easily grab the cucumber okay and you and you have to grab it and you can apply in your projects so my main motive here is that that you should understand the cucumber basics okay so there is a pipe sign so not here yeah write a pipe sign and suppose without let me give this without a name that is i browse through buying products okay uh buying sorry buying okay buying products let me name it at buying products okay now the second parameter should that is i will write basket status should or should not be okay and the third one is cannot okay by status so i have given three variable names and end with the pipe sign okay and let me fill this with the parameters so first is buying products that is without okay 
the next one is basket status that is should so it is in the form of matrix the third one is by status that is cannot okay similarly for the other parameter here it is with okay the another one is should not and the last one is i can so we have defined three parameters here and we have told that each scenario would be executed with these three parameters okay and i will remove this okay because this scenario will be executed twice for these parameters okay now these parameters should now be replaced with the variable name okay so copy this for the without one should should be replaced by basket status and by status should replace cannot okay now one more thing these how that uh, this feature will understand that this is a variable okay it there is no way so we write greater than and less than symbol so anything which will be marked in greater and less than symbol will be considered as your example so it will pick this variable and search in the example if this variable exists or not if it exists then it's okay if it not then this greater than symbol will be executed as a simple string okay and similarly for the basket status and the by status okay so now these will be read as variables okay and uh this is sanity and smoke and login as well so if i execute the sanity tags then only this feature file will be executed so let me update here as well sanity it is already updated now let me execute if i run this as test and the test then two scenarios would be executed it has given me an error Uh, error in parsing feature file okay let me open shopping oh one more thing uh when we use examples this scenario is written as scenario outline okay and now it would work let me run this run this as test ng test yeah so as you can see here two scenarios were executed okay and you can also see without should cannot with should not can okay so it is working as a parameter so if i write here third thing also that when i browse mm with without when i browse let me say like give x x x something and the second parameter is y y y and the third parameter is z z z if i save this and if i the run this as test ng test so now three scenarios would be executed yes three scenarios with x x y y z z so this is how it works so if you have studied the test ng or j unit you have you know the concept for data parameters okay so how many data parameters we add that test case will be executed that number of times so the similar concept here the number of parameters here here there are three parameters so this scenario will be executed three times 
so that was all for the parameterization of feature files it's a very important concept okay and it would be mainly used when you're writing test cases you will be using mostly in all your test cases okay thank you hello friends so in the previous session we studied about the parameterization of our feature file how we can parameterize a scenario okay so in this session we will be talking about data table okay so previously what we were doing we were uh parameterizing but now suppose this is your given uh annotation and if what if this annotation needs some data okay so for those requirements the data picture comes into the picture okay now suppose here is given i start the application now suppose these are generic test cases okay as you see this is a generic test case i start the application then i should see a selection of products when i browse through the products so normally every e-commerce website would have the same logic okay now i want to test this for let's say th uh, three products or two products th two products not uh, two applications so given can be that i start the apply uh, the flipkart i start the amazon okay so i need data so how i can use the uh, data table i can use a pipe symbol and i can give here application name okay and the data that is dip card is flip card okay and the another is amazon let's say okay now how to call this data table in your test case so this is my step file and this is the given feature so here we write um, data yeah here it comes data table yes data table and data okay and here i can use data dot as maps mm. Type. Just a second. I use here list or map, and I use here string or string. Okay and list i will import this map and list to java.util java as maps so i want this Mm, okay so let's use as maps only and uh, since both of these are parameters are string okay so we will be actually what uh, the data table which we give here is accepted as data table in a given function here okay in whichever after uh, this annotation you use will be used in that annotation only okay so now our main motive is actually whole of this data is converted into one data and is sent here so now our motive is to convert it into a list 
okay and since its value is string dot class okay and string dot class it is hash maps okay so we have got a list now we need to extract the value from this list now how this list is saved let me show you with the, the help of paint so we were having these two one is this and the another is this okay so we were having two flipkart and amazon so we have a list here list and the value of list is two that i have two maps okay and the maps are of string string that is map one i can let's say map that is zero and this is a map one okay because we have two parameters so, uh, two values here okay now and it has two partitions okay so in which we have only one application name okay whose application name is flipkart and the another one whose application name is amazon so this is how it is value suppose if we have some another uh, parameter p2 and some values like 1 and 2 then what would have been it would have been p2 parameter and its value 1 similarly p2 parameter and its value 2 so this is how this map is made so back again so we have got a list now so now we want to extract these values okay so how we can extract them using the list i will system print all on application is okay and i will be using list okay so first i need to go to this first map okay so i will be using get index zero then from this zero i want to use this one first or second in our case we have only one application name so i will be using get object and what is the object name the application name so what this function would return uh well, it's giving an error list delete this token uh let me check why it is okay this plus needs to be here string catechination okay now uh similarly i want to print the another as well that is for the second map for the second map this is index one i want to print the amazon okay so let's now run it okay let me save this save this and if i run this run this as a test ng test and if i see here yes three scenarios are executed three scenarios correlates to these three parameters okay so these scenario will be executed three times and this given annotation in every run will be having these two 
data table. So let us see uh, what was in our console. Uh, view console. Okay. As you can see, we have printed. Yes, application is Flipkart, application is Amazon in every given. So, in the next given also, application is Flipkart and application is Amazon. So, similarly, we can work on it. Now, let us understand these two also, so you get a very good understanding of the feature files. So, let's say uh, this and buy status okay, uh, or buying product. Okay. So, product can be anything. So, it can be a product name and the second data table would be product company. Okay. So, my product name is shoes and my product company is Reebok. And the another one is short. And my product company is Zodiac. Okay. So, I want to include these two parameters. So, working the same way here as well. So, which annotation it was? It was when. Okay. So, moving the when part. In this when, uh, we will be having a data parameter. Data table. Okay. I will name it as data. I will write system dot out dot first I have to convert this data table into map so I will write it is a list of maps uh, with list list string and string name it as list and it would be my data dot as maps it would be string dot class string dot class and i can print the value what is the list for my first list that is at index 0 I'll be using get object string object is product name okay similarly for the another one we will be using list dot get index 0 and I want to get the object that is product company and I have two indexes that is two data table so I will be executing similarly for parameters at index 1 and 1 okay so save this and let's execute run this as test ng test so in the when annotation if i check the when annotation i get four things shoes reebok shirt zedio and that's perfect so this is how we can execute the data table now let me uh, Tell one again what is data parameter uh, data table. Now suppose we want to have some data in our annotations. 
okay these was for the parameterization how many times you want to execute a particular scenario but what we are talking it suppose you want to have some data in a annotation then you can use this data table okay suppose there are five options okay and you want to execute your scenario for this flipkart application only so using this data parameter you can get the flipkart value and execute on it okay so there can be multiple situations when you need data in your annotations so this is how you can use data parameters okay so don't confuse with scenario with data parameter both have different meaning uh, they are both totally different okay normally uh, people thought that pipe sign is there we are giving data so they are at different level it is at scenario level and it is at annotation level no both are different okay thank you so if you have not understand this i will ask you to please again watch these videos for uh, parameterization again okay it is please make sure that you understand this concept clearly okay thanks hello friends so in the previous session we have learned a lot about parameterization how we handle the various scenarios in our feature file now we will be studying a one more a good feature that is a background feature okay so let me close this and close this advanced project as well and let's start working on this basic project for the cucumber which we developed okay or what i do uh let me make a new project okay so oops sorry minutes copy of cucumber i will say learning project okay then i will use this project so in this we in this i will be only using this login step i will delete the rest uh, and perfect okay so we have a feature file here for the simple login and its step file okay now there are some activities you want to do before any scenario suppose i am saying login into the account scenario is valid user and password given i launched the application okay there is the uh, initial step that before testing this you want to open your chrome browser okay so similarly i have the second step let us it to be the same one okay so i want this step to be executed uh, that the chrome browser should be open before the scenarios so we have a feature here that is known as background okay whatever i write in this background will be called before this scenario file okay suppose i use the same thing given okay launch the chrome browser and let me make a given annotation in the step file for it as well okay the another given okay and I the dollar sign which states the ending of the sentence and public white
Okay, and in this I will print launching my Chrome browser. save this and perfect so so this background job will be called before this scenario okay uh, now one more thing uh, i just want to tell you that we have been using test ng uh, for the reporting but test ng reports are not so good if i talk about cucumber we must use j unit reports okay so they are pretty good so we have already seen the test ng but uh, now tell uh, let me for the test ng the reports are generated here the kungubar html reports okay uh, okay i am mixing everything okay first i will uh, let's tell you about this background okay so let me run this run this as a test ng test it has a known of the feature files in my package oh strange okay here are this tags are given so that's the reason it was not running okay now let us execute this run this as a test ng test And if I see the logs here, two undefined, it's saying it skipped launch the Chrome browser. Just a second, guys. Given ah. Oh. This was the annotation. Sometimes we do these type of silly mistakes. It is the annotation given, not uh, the string to be mashed. Okay, save this and run this as test ng test. Okay, so two passed. Now you see there were two scenarios, and before every scenario, launch the Chrome browser okay launch the chrome browser is executed okay so this is how it works suppose if i have a suppose i want a different background to i want to execute this on firefox okay so i write here firefox okay and make a new test step for it Firefox is in capital, first letter capital. Mm -hmm. And Firefox and Firefox. Save this and now run this. Okay. So, what is it has done? Error parsing feature file login. Now, the log, the reason is that this background can be called only once during the feature file. So, this background will run before every scenario. Okay. So, you cannot use like this. If we talk about background, it is something which we called as before method annotation. Okay, so this method will be called before this and before this. So this is the backward concept in feature files. So it is uh, very important, suppose before starting of the test, you want to connect your database or you want to do some initialization. So all that of stuff can be covered in this background. Okay, so it is the most commonly used feature and I will recommend you to use in your projects as well this background feature. Okay. So that's all. Thank you. Hello friends. 
so in this section we will be learning two features that is the reporting in cucumber and the another one is running cucumber with as a j unit project okay so first of all if i go here in my runner class what we have told we have told to use this plugin previously known as formats that the reports to be generated in html in target okay this is the target and under cucumber html reports that is cucumber html reports that my cucumber reports should be generated here okay so if i open this index first of all let me run the project so as we have so it is run executed so as we have used html reports you can generate pdf etc other report as well you can uh, search online it will be showing you various stuffs that how you can generate some add-ons etc needs to be downloaded for generating of those results cucumber is very vast okay so i'm teaching you the basic concepts which you'll be needing in your project okay otherwise the cucumber is very last teaching for end to end is not possible okay but uh, i trying to cover each and every aspect which you will be needing while working with cucumber so uh, let me open this index file okay index file is normally the html file which opens the report yeah so this is the feature login into account and it has two scenarios scenario 1 and scenario 2 now we have seen the background okay the background we uh, with so we uh, learned in our previous session so this background should be same launch the chrome browser and launch the chrome browser so this chrome browser will be launched before both of these scenarios so you see the how it is easy now to look into the reports and to analyze the data before we were checking the console window of the eclipse which was very difficult to understand so let's an expand the scenario and we will get in detail what the scenarios were executed so number of features files the features file would be here so in this report it becomes pretty easy to identify these test steps which followed in a feature file okay now we have been using a test ng for execution of the project but uh, while in case of cucumber uh, normally people don't work with test ng okay they use j unit okay i started teaching with the help of test ng that mostly people are using test ng uh, so they want to run with the test ng only okay so i showed you how you can do it now let me uh, show you how you can run with j unit as well though we were using the j unit class previous also okay so in the, in this example first of all you don't need this test ng file if you are working on j unit so you can comment this or we will just use an underscore here so its name changes for test ng xml okay so it means that it won't work with test ng now other thing here instead of extend this extends abstract test ng cucumber runner is to execute your cucumber test with test ng but now we are not using test ng so we can comment this and open the braces here okay and save this so now this project is configured to run with your j unit test cases so let me run this as j unit test okay and see in j unit so easily you are getting the green so it's you see in the j unit we are getting the two scenarios while when we are seeing the test ng only one scenario was showing because cucumber supports j unit it has uh, compatible libraries which are built for j unit so it is preferred with cucumber you should use j unit okay so this was the report and one more thing mm, let me revisit it again what i was showing i just forgot 
yeah this console window sorry <laughs> so in the console window is pretty good as compared to when it was coming test ng this is the background the scenario and the another scenario and that's perfect okay so this is how you can convert your test ng into j unit and you can see in j unit all these annotations are showing step also and with the time it devoted on each step so j unit uh, repeat one second j unit is recommended when we are using cucumber okay so that was all about first how to show the reporting and how to convert your test ng project into j unit project okay so that's all in the next session we'll be learning about actually uh, when we talk in live scenarios we don't uh, run test cases with the help of ui we work through commands okay so we can integrate a cucumber project with ant ant is a build platform ant is a tool which helps the projects to build so now we will be using ant to build a project through command prompt so in the next session we'll be learning about that okay so if you have any doubts regarding this any of the stuff which i am talking about you can just go into the discussion board and give your problem so it's not that i will try my best and i will be replying to those discussions but writing in the discussions had very good uh, aspect that all the people who are doing this uh, learning this course who know that answer can reply also it archives it okay it saves at a history that in future if anyone faced that problem he can refer those yes i received a lot of the queries on the email on the one to one mail on udemy but uh, i prefer that try to not send one to mail please use discussion forums okay some uh, sometimes yes you will find an advantage i would be able to reply faster but sometimes i skip those as well i thought but in a, the best way is discussion forum so please try to use those at maximum okay so let's meet in the next session that is about the ant integration with cucumber thank you hello friends in the previous session we learned about that how to run a cucumber scripts with the j unit and also the reporting now in this session we'll be learning about the ant how to run a cucumber test with the help of the ant now ant is the build tool what ant does it it helps the product to build now why we want to use ant with a cucumber because when we are running a project uh, what we are actually is, is doing is we are going to learning project right clicking on it run as as test ng or j unit and it successfully runs that is it calls shopping test runner this this is runner file it fetches the information and execute the test but in re real scenario in real projects when we are working yeah so you have to work on command prompt okay you uh, you don't want to touch your ui because you want all the processes to be automated so for that reason we download the ant so that we can execute it from the command prompt okay also in that case we don't need this test runner file because it we it will be handled by the ant itself so we can make this file also unused okay or let me <coughs> do this okay so it represents okay so first of all we download the ant okay so you go to google and you can say download ant okay this is the binary libraries for the ant from here you can download it 
okay this zip archive you can download it uh, this one okay and you can save on your system so ant is not to install it is configured so mm, yes so like um, i have saved under program files and mm, it must be here somewhere just a minute Yes, so and actually the end was not installed on the system. So I have just downloaded the zip file and lent it to be downloaded. In the main file, if I go to command prompt and if I type end, you will see the end is not a recognized command. That is end is not configured on my system. Okay, let it to be downloaded first and then I will configure it. taking time to download the end Mm, it's taking time let me pause the video till the time it is downloaded okay so and is downloaded here so let me open it copy this paste it here and the extract all okay so copy this and let me go to my c drive c drive and in program files and paste it here go to path and at the end you type this path and with a semicolon press ok 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 and this if you again open your command prompt and you type the end here and you see it's now not giving the error that ant is not a recognized command now it's giving an error that build file does not exist okay so it successfully means that your ant is successfully configured now what is this build.xml as already told that what ant is ant is a build tool 
okay yeah what it does in build.xml it is an xml file in this you feed all the information and needs to build and it will read this file and build your system so this is how the ant works so ant is configured now it's saying that okay where is the build.xml i want to work on okay so i have a build.xml uh this one okay you just include it into your project okay to the most above hierarchy here build.xml uh, it's let me open yeah this is open here now in this build.xml you need to do some modifications according to your project now this ws home this is a properties we need to define or we can say the variables in short term okay base home this denotes the base url of your project now the jars okay as now we will be working with j unit so we need to download the j unit as we are having test ng also so it won't be used but in this it is built according to j unit okay so you need to download your test ng and j unit jars test ng jar is because this project doesn't fail or let me just delete this i'm not deleting it because you may be needing this uh, uh, in the future as well okay so that's the reason so i need to download the j unit maven j unit if i go to this yes this is the dependency and let me download the jar also i need to download the test ng and let it uh, no test ng let's say and also you need yeah i think that's it i think that uh, test in j unit yes i think j unit would work so let me copy this and paste it in my jar folders where all my jars are located so in one system they are located at personal software jar under cucumber and i paste it here oh i was already having j unit anyhow let me remove this the old version okay so what we now to give the path of where jar files are located so let me go again yes so copy this path and paste it here now the next property is saying it's saying where you want your build to be built the okay, build means that when the compilation happens this java files are converted into class files so it is asking where you want to build i am asking it to build that under this build a build folder and keep the class files into it next is the source folder is asking from where you it will be needing files to pick so the files which needs to be compiled needs to be copied from this location src okay now Uh, how this uh, end tool works it has some targets here target name or target name this target name this target name means some activity which you want to do with end okay that is compile in this compile it will be compiling all the files that is converting those java files into class files okay so now here what we mainly want to look is with this run cubes this cubes as you already know info cubes is the official website for cucumber so we have given a target name as run cubes okay so when we will write and run cubes it will build our cucumber project as we were doing same with right clicking on j unit okay also we have written that it depends upon compile it means it depends upon target compile this compile that is when i run this it will first compile the project and then it will run cubes okay now we are saying that under target 
make one library that is cucumber j unit report okay this html report was the default report now we are saying that to build a j unit report as well okay uh, this is the format you see these are the same formats which we are doing in this one let me show you see features plugin tags etc we are using same thing here we are using the reporting pretty glue so it's the same thing what we are doing in here we can use here so you can do the tags as well here okay if you go to the cucumber website cucumber documentation okay if the documentation i want to go with java and let's say light glue okay so you will find all the what those means and how you you can use them in your project okay so i was talking about tag so we were using tag here before right in this file so you can use the same way the tag here as well in your build.xml you can make a value tag and you can give its value as well argument so so here we are uh, here developing two types of report one is the j unit report and one is the report which is given by cucumber okay now here we need to def tell where your feature file and what the package for the same for the test runners so source dot my package this denotes the location where your feature file is located my feature file is located under my packages so the path source my package so okay it tells where your feature files is and the package name for your test step package name for test step is my package so this is how you work with it now except this you have to do nothing with this file okay leave at it as it is and save your changes okay it's giving some error uh j unit no uh, let just a second libraries okay actually what uh, <laughs> error it is giving because i have un unlink the 4.11 version and added a new version so it's saying that it cannot recognize this 4.11 so let me remove this and add a new uh, 4.12 jar file version okay so, yes now how to run this file first we need to go to a project that is properties this is the project base location so if i right go to d drive the device is not ready what is this yeah let me open again wow i'm getting a this this type of error first time I have a D drive, right? Ah, <laughs> no, it happens. Actually, I'm working on different systems, so it happens that some have D drive, some don't. Like I was thinking before, the ant is configured, but in this, the ant is not configured. Okay, so so uh, let me put a next session for execution. Okay. So in this video, we have seen how to configure the build file. In the next session, we will be seeing how to generate your end reports. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So in the previous session, we have learned about how to uh, include end in your Cucumber project and how to set up your build.xml. Now we are ready. So let us open the command prompt and navigate to the part project. Okay, write cd the path project. Okay, I need to copy the path. Okay, copy. Build. 
this is the path okay and then if i write and dot clean okay now what this and dot clean does you must see a target here as clean clean cleans your it suppose there are some uh, files or uh, i will let you know what exactly in show your practical example if i write and dot compile let's say okay what and dot compile does it <coughs> yes so what it does it it compiles your these java files and it compiles them if i refresh my project here you can see a build folder is created the same may be have told it in in case of build okay you need to make them into class files and those class files needs to be stored at build location that is at test dot dest so test dot dat it is asking it to create a new directory so under this you can see the class files are generated okay now what the, clean does if i write and clean again and i refresh my project you see the build folder has gone so this is how the clean works okay so we have clean our project we have compiled our project now what main task we need to do is we need to run this target run queues okay so if i write and run queues and pr press on enter so the same thing which were you were doing uh, using the test runner the same thing will be done here okay so you can see here it has started this was your first uh, first let me show you this the login so there were two scenarios okay so this was scenario 1 login this was again the scenario second and two times the background job is called because we were using the backgrounds previously and the report that totally two scenarios were there and totally 10 steps passed okay and now the reports are generated now we have said that in the target you need to generate the reports two type of reports cucumber j unit reports and the html cucumber html reports so if i refresh this project target project okay it is created two times uh let me run it again clean and run it again there is something wrong okay now let me okay so let me delete this and if i clean run again okay give me a second guys let me check what uh, the wrong which is i have done in this build dot xml yes so actually i have not done any changes i just cleaned my project and uh, everything was fine it happens sometimes okay so let us run it again uh, let me clean up project again and if i run run cubes and i refresh my target folder here so i can see two type of reports generated so let us first see cucumber html reports copy its path and go to your browser and paste it here so you can see the reports here the same type of reports we have just seen before okay in the previous section in reporting section okay this was the cucumber reports and the another type is j unit reports you copy the path of index.html so you can see here two test and success success you can get the details of it okay so total time 100% success so th these type both of the reports cucumber reports and these are the j unit reports so whatever 
what reports you want need to work on you can use those so this is the real benefit suppose when you are building a project or something you don't need to consider this eclipse folder okay so you can directly run your n dot command and just writing that command your whole project will be executed whole your cucumber project will be executed so that is the best feature of using ant in with your project okay so that's all in the next sessions we'll be learning about uh, selenium how to integrate cucumber with selenium it's the same thing okay so cucumber is this the basic concepts remains the same now when we work with the selenium or apm or any other tool you want to work with in the test tab instead of writing this system dot print out use the selenium commands okay so, so cucumber is uh, you you don't have to say cucumber works with selenium cucumber works with this cucumber is generic you can use with any of your project with the, any of your tools with any scripting language scripting which it supports sorry okay so it is generic you can write your code here and it would be executed so in uh, in the if i talk about a layman language what you can say cucumber is a art by which you can represent your test cases if i talk about selenium before if you are writing the test cases then you write functional test cases sanity test cases those test cases there is no predefined method that this is how that the your test cases will not be defined in terms of given annotation when then but etc that is in the form of bdd so now your test case is written in the form of ddd so cucumber provides a framework so your test cases which were written will now be written in form of bdd so this is cucumber okay so there are various other tools but cucumber is the most accepted tool worldwide for the bdd and cucumber is not small if we talk about cucumber cucumber has many things i just shown you here as well cucumber features in the previous i think it was yes so cucumber is vast in itself there is a there are lot of things okay so that's all with this video get back to you in the next session thank you hello friends welcome to this session uh in this session we will be learning about hooks okay so let me first close this and make a new project from this learning project copy paste and it's saying let me name it at hooks learning project i will be sharing all these frameworks or all projects with you at the end you can find the resources uh, tab and in that you can find all these frame uh, projects okay okay so this is a hook project and in this project we have a login feature and let me make it to have only one okay let me delete the background also make it simple one okay and launch the chrome also we are not using okay save this and let's first execute and see it's running fine run this as a junit test no test found in the test runner wow oh there is no runner as well let me copy it from here oh there was no runner in this okay let me copy from another project cucumber project and from here let me copy the runner okay uh, actually we were running this with the help of uh, uh, build.xml so that's why you are not using runner so let me copy runner into this close project let me keep the runner here modify the runner name also mm rename which is yeah 
I'll name it as login test runner. Okay, and in this runner, yes, in the source package tags, I will remove. I'm not using tags, and that's it. Now it is fine. Now let us execute as test J unit. Okay, so one scenario passed and four scenario uh, four steps and one scenario passed okay that's good now what the hook concept says we have studied the background okay and when we have put a background in a feature file so whenever any scenarios in that feature file is executed the runner uh, the background is executed every time for every scenario in that feature file but it is restricted to that feature file only that is background has a limitation that it executes before scenario for that feature file only while hooks have the global access like we have the before method in test ng so if you have a before method defined once so it will be executed every time before the any test in your project okay so it comes with a similar pattern now let's understand it more okay uh, this was login step mm -hmm. this is our uh, step file so in this step file how we can describe the hooks we can write at the rate at the rate before annotation okay and uh, the function public void before uh, scenario okay and I write this is before hook okay let me import this as well yeah let me save this and execute test okay so it has executed uh, then yeah this is one this is before hook it has executed fine Okay. Similarly, on the grounds, we can declare the after hook that will be called after the scenario. Okay, public void after scenario. This is after hook. Okay, and let's execute. Okay, uh, and after it is called, this is after hook. You must be noticing here that the steps remains four. Okay, so these hooks are not counted in the test steps. Okay, because these are not the steps. These are the hooks okay now let me okay now let me make an another uh, feature file okay login copy and I will name it as sign up okay and in this sign up I won't be making too large I will making sign up for account scenario would be let's say make it give it only sign up and only I'm making a given step in this okay it is just for understanding I, I'm making this feature file and I'm saying I want to sign up into account this is my feature file now let me make a step file for this that is sign up step file 
okay in this this is the given scenario i want to sign up for the account yeah let me delete everything here i'll be using annotation given okay no i will let me keep one uh, given okay it will save my time okay so this is here and, and here Okay, let me make the function. Uh, you can keep any functions name you want, but generally I have seen people are giving the same name which is in the feature file because it is for clear understanding. So I re I recommend you to use the same only and save this. Okay, in case of sign up. Okay, so here two tagging are done one tagging is the generic tagging okay because before test this will be executed in every case so here this hook comes okay now the hook which is specially for the tag would come similarly for the after hooks now if we check for the login one in this case only one hook come which is without tag okay there is no sign up hook so this is how the tag feature works so in case of cucumber you have seen that they are very um, features of test ng and j unit have been imported smartly like using of these tag features background sign up so they have applied it to the feature level so don't be confused normally people are being confused with background and hooks background is specific to each feature file in case of hooks they are global okay in case of global it's not that you can define these hooks as any of the feature uh, step file as you have seen that in case of sign up we have defined those hooks uh, yes those hooks in the login step file not is the step step file okay not in the sorry uh, sign up step file okay so that was the concept for hooks thank you
Hello friends. So in the previous session we studied about hooks. In this session we will be talking about that how to work with Cucumber and Maven. I am assuming that you know uh, what Maven is. If you don't let me give you a short example. At while running of uh, Cucumber projects we downloaded some Cucumber jars. Okay. Which uh, let me show you. We, if you remember that in the starting we added this cucumber jar files. We downloaded manually from the internet and link are to the project. These are the jar files where the cucumber code is written. Okay, and these are the libraries from which we get the class files and use them. Okay, now suppose you are working in uh, five to ten or fifteen big team. Okay, now as you know that every jar has a different version number. As new update comes, this version number changes. Okay, now if you are working in a team of let's say 10 people, okay, and everyone is using their local copy of jar files. Now, out of those 10 people, suppose uh, one new jar version of this 2.0 is launched and one of the person is started using the latest version. Okay, while the other 9 were using the old version. So, the one person was developing the code as per the latest jar files and while the other nine were using the old jar file. So, there may be cases that when the release is there or the project is integrated, some test courses would fail. Maybe because the new version or the old version. Okay, so it is a major problem when we are working in a big teams. So everyone needs to be synchronized. Okay, moreover there is also a headache to download the jar files. Okay, we need to always continuously checking where the jar file is and to download it from the internet etc. And also they, call, uh, they store a huge space in your memory as well. All those uh, are storing the jar locations etc so it comes a major scenario so it is a tedious task when we are working in a team okay so here comes the maven so what the maven says maven has contacted each and every jar file hold owner and it has taken all the jar files and stored it at a common repository that we call as maven repository okay so if you want any jar file you contact the maven suppose if i wanted this cucumber jar file i don't want, need to go to cucumber for this jar file i can just direct tell the maven that i need this jar file and ja that maven will send me this jar file okay so it is a centrally located system so how we tell the jar file uh, sorry how we tell this maven repository there is a xml file in this we write a dependency or dependency means a jar file that we want this jar file this version we tell the maven and it is automatically downloaded on a system see a large burden is being relieved with the help of maven now we have any jar file you need tell the maven hello maven i need this jar file okay maven will download it so that's the benefit of maven so now we'll be seeing that how we can work with maven and cucumber okay because uh, when you download this jar file there was a huge uh, efforts being wasted and maintaining the version this is all saved by cucumber okay let me close this project and make a new project a maven project okay i mean this is com dot uh, cu cucumber and the project artifact id let's say cucumber project okay Okay, it's already exist. So just let me give it project. Okay, and click on finish. So a new project is made here with pom.xml. This pom.xml is responsible to communicating with the Maven that which jar files you need 
and it download those jar files so when you are running the maven you have to make sure your internet is working okay at least for the first time when it download the libraries so let me open this pom.xml okay and you will find here so we'll be adding info like this is the dependency which defaultly comes j unit okay this is the j unit so we are telling the maven to download this j unit and this version okay now let us download the cucumber jar files as well so i have a pom with me okay so we need to download these jar files okay these all dependencies okay let me copy this and paste it here okay so these are the all jar files j unit cucumber jar okay the cucumber jvm and cucumber j unit so it has with all the jar files which we downloaded manually we have just given their names here and their version number okay also we need to tell a maven that we will be running test through J unit. So for that we need to download Maven compiler plugin. Okay, it is needed to run the projects. That is the J unit test. And save this. So as soon as you save it, you will see all the jar files are being downloaded from the internet. You see that repo Maven. This is the location, and it is downloading these jar jar files which I have mentioned here. so these are being downloaded from the internet so you have to make sure that your internet is on on state so it will be taking first time uh, to download these jar files so in the next time if your this file is unchanged so it won't be taking so much time because it is downloading all these jar file from the internet to my local pc Okay, it is taking time depending upon the internet speed. Let me pause the video till it is completed. Okay, so all the dependencies have been installed. Okay. Now, this is a Maven structure. Here is the main folder and here is the test. So normally in the main source main all the source code is there and in the test there is the test files okay so we have to do nothing with this so there is a default file deleted also we don't require this now in the test there is a pattern you need to follow okay all your feature files will be coming in the resource folder and all the step file and runner will come in java okay so let me take the feature file from the previous project so i don't waste time to create again like login test copy this this is my step so it needs to come under test java okay shopping test runner copy this and this should be under my project okay this is my feature so feature comes needs to come under resources for that i will be creating a new source folder you have to follow this hierarchy when you are working with maven okay so this would be under source test and under test it needs to be resources okay and click on finish so you see a new folder is being created here and in this you can copy this login feature okay and close this project Now, let's solve these errors 
they must be the package login address okay the package for this is correct so i do i'm not using tag here okay also i'm not using test ng here this colon needs to be removed also the test ng library okay and it's perfect so this is the structure in the java you have your step file and the runner file and in the resources you have the login feature okay so for checking it first right click on the test runner and run this as a junit test so it is giving an initialization error what it says let's study not able directory my package okay what it's saying is in the feature file we have uh, sorry in the runner file we have given the path of our feature files that is source package but in this case the path is at source uh, source test and resources so we need to update it also source test resources this is okay and one more thing the structure it's in the pm package so we have to declare the package here also both need to be same as well package names okay so here also let me create a new package com dot cucumber project okay and keep this login file under this okay now it's good and now save this now try to execute it run this as a junit test yes so it's work perfectly fine scenario and all the four steps were executed fine now try to run with the help of maven okay for running of the maven test click on this pom.xml right click on it and run this as maven test so uh, we have already downloaded the uh, jar files some were not downloaded like the maven dependencies those were downloaded now and it's giving me an error okay compiler error okay just a second i have to mm, it is a new project i need to change the path jre let me use jdk okay okay now try to run it through maven run this as test ng test see in this time there is downloading of only surefire plugin the jar files were already downloaded these are the plugins which are being downloaded now okay it has downloaded per zero executed why okay uh yes yeah, there is one more thing when we are running with maven okay you have to make sure your step either starts or end with test okay so let me update this shop let me name it at shop runner test so maven identify it as a test then and it executes now it has not identified it this file so it didn't execute now let me run again maven test first of all those plugin were downloaded before so they are not downloaded now okay second or yes this time the test have run the scenario file has run okay four scenarios pass oh sorry one scenario passed and four test steps okay so this is how you can work with your maven project okay so this i have really taught because when you are working in live projects you generally use maven when you are working with selenium project okay so this is how 
you can keep your Selenium test here and corresponding feature files here and you can execute your test. Okay. So, thank you. So, this lecture, in this lecture you will find all the resources. Uh, that is all the projects which I have covered. I have made a zip file of those and I am uploading all the resources to this lecture. Okay. So, all the coding uh, which was taught in the previous lecture, you can find the resource, the Java files in here. Okay. Thank you.